Alright, what's going on guys? Top tier tech and today I got a video for you about um, the Fractal Design Connect D1 for their Define R6 series, which I have the Fractal Design uh, Define R6 case and that one doesn't come standard with a USB-C port on the on the front there for VR mostly and that's what I was looking at is to get a, a Quest 2 so I decided to go ahead and pick this up here and so that'll give me the capability to link it to the computer and I just wanted to do a little unboxing show you guys what's in it and then a little uh, tutorial on how to actually hook it up in, in the computer so I was looking on YouTube for some like a, a little video on how to do it and Fractal's got one but it wasn't like the most clear video so hopefully I'll be able to do a, a good job showing you guys how to hook this up but um let's go ahead and get into the unboxing so fractal design connect d1 uh usb 3.1 gen gen 2 type upgrade kit for define r6 it's the case i got so the contents usb 3.1 audio module replacement shell black white and gunmetal it comes with three different color head units i don't really know why? I mean, I guess that's neat, like, if you could change the colors or something, but I'd rather just get, like, the one I needed for 15 bucks, whatever. I got this on Amazon for 21, 21 bucks, so, yeah. Reversible USB Type-C, fast, easy connection. The Quest 2 uses USB Type-C cable to connect, so I don't want to do any, like, adapters or anything. I'm just trying to make it simple. And luckily, they have this, um unit here that you can put on so here we got it looks like the black one and here's the white one there and this is the one I'll be using this is my case color is the gunmetal one is what they call it So that's it for that. We got looks like the USB, uh, the audio module here. You can see There's the USB C port. So it looks good. And then the manual, which I'll probably need to check out just to make sure I know what I'm getting into. So yeah, I mean, that's it for the unboxing. Got the left in there. You get the three shells for whatever color you want. I don't really know why they need to, you gotta buy all three of them, but it is what it is. Cause I didn't know that at first. So yeah, that's it. All right. So all you should need there's just a, a screwdriver here. I got a couple sizes because I don't know exactly how big these screws are going to be. There we go. I'll take out the bottom dust panel. All right, so you got to pull these sides off here. They actually come off pretty, at least these top did. Hmm. got to take this dust thing out there. Oh, there it went. All right. All right, yeah, just pull up the sides. There seems to be like a, a clip on each corner. Maybe one in the middle there. That needs to come off so you can get to the, the front. All right, and now we're at the the unit. So, looks like, looks like, I don't know if you can see him. There's a screw right there, and then there's one on the other side there that we're gonna have to take off. All right, if you don't already to, I always like to keep one of these little magnet uh, cups here for your screws and stuff so those don't get lost, but all right, let's go ahead and unscrew these screws here. There we go. The screw is being in pain. 
All right, so we got that loose. We're gonna need to get these connectors out of here now. All right, so there's a couple screws. You can see right there, there, right there, another one there. And we're gonna have to take out to disconnect the connectors here and get this plate off. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Looks like these screws are a little smaller than the other one, so I'm gonna take this one. All right, so the first two screws are out. It looks like this piece just fell right out. So we can go ahead and wiggle these loose. There we go. So that's that one out. All right, now we got the power button. So there's two screws there. This one's definitely a little trickier. This doesn't just fall out. Here, let me try and get this other one and see if I can, if that'll help. Kind of loosen things up. All right, well that one came out pretty easily. So I just got this power button left. And I did read a little bit that this one was definitely a a pain to get and one guy actually recommended just cutting the plastic which I might end up doing because you could break the power button and that would be good all right I got it Button still seems to be intact, but yeah, just kind of cut it down and broke around that and came off. So if you can get it out, sweet. If not, I guess go ahead and be careful. You don't, you know, touch the white ends or any of the cables or anything, but I'm not going to use this thing anyway. So no big deal. All right. And then here's our one that we're going to be replacing it with. Like a little something like that. Now this piece, this cord here, is gonna go somewhere, I believe, onto the on your motherboard. So go ahead and scout around for that. See if I can find where it goes. All right, so I was just doing a quick scout around my motherboard for the port that's supposed to go in, and I found it. It's right there at U31G2 underscore C1, whatever port that is. All right, so we can go ahead and get, uh, this thing ran back into the computer here, connected to the motherboard. Well, it's connected. It looks like it does matter which way it goes in, so if it's not sticking for you, go ahead and spin it back around and try that. Should do the trick. All right. Oh my god, I'm a retard. So this one here, this guy, it's just not able to reach so that this hole lines up so I can screw it back in. So I'm going to have to take off the back of the case here and see if I can like move it up or something, see where this cable is and get some more slack because it's, it's just not long enough here. A couple wire ties back here holding it down really hard i don't really want to like cut them because obviously it helps with the other cables but i might have to snip one of these just to get it over more because it's just not it's not far enough oh yeah oh. all right well there we have it i got the uh unit hooked back up hopefully it's all connected so i'll go ahead and get the uh the covers and stuff back on, we'll plug it in and see if it turns on. Unit hooked in. 
hit the power button, turned on just fine after I hooked everything back up, got all the covers and stuff back on, got all my wires back connected. You can see the monitors turned on, everything's working. So let's go ahead and uh, test and make sure that the USB ports are working fine. So. There we go, we got charge from the USB 3.0s. All right, well I plugged in the USB-C cable. I got it plugged into my phone here. Um, that's what I'm using to record. And I will say it is charging the phone. Everything seems to be working properly. Power button's okay. The um, USBs and stuff are working all right. I didn't test any of these. Um, I guess we can test the reset button. Yep, that went off just fine. So. Seems to be working pretty good whenever I get a uh, Oculus Quest 2, plug the link cable right into this and be able to use it on my computer. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, setup. I tried to make it as easy and step by step as I could. Go ahead, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.